about entering your first endurance ride and um, kind of what options there are to enter. The first thing that you should do is join your local area's Facebook group because this is where you'll find out the local social rides, pleasure rides, competitive rides, any training events they're doing and any social kind of gatherings and get together and it's a really good place to ask questions and get to know the people in your area. I'm a Heart of England group member, but I also um, follow the Facebook groups of the Leicestershire, Derbyshire and Cheshire groups because those are the kind of areas that are accessible to me and I like to go kind of a little bit further afield to go and do their rides as well. Alongside joining your local area's Facebook group, you also need to go onto the main Endurance GB website. The way we enter rides and events has changed a little bit since the COVID pandemic. So you now either need to be a supporter or a member of Endurance GB to enter, enter any of the events and this is including kind of the local group events. Being a supporter is completely free and I'll show you on my phone just how you can go into kind of the Endurance GB page, click on the supporters tab and then you have to fill in a few kind of, um, fill in a few forms just to kind of get you set up. So it's completely free. Um, you also get two membership rate below 40 kilometer graded endurance rides and you get access to the e-magazine. If you're a member, you, you can put in your membership details and go straight to the events. Once you've signed up, so you're either a member or a supporter, you then can go into the events section and have a look at what things are on and what rides you'd like to um, enter. So just scroll through, find something you want to enter, click through to it, and once it's open for entries, you can go through and enter through the Endurance GB main website. This is just so that they can track everyone um, and kind of with the pandemic going on that we can limit numbers and there's more traceability and things. There are three types of endurance ride that you can enter as a beginner. The first one is called a social ride and it's kind of very much what it says on the tin. It's very informal, it's meant to be fun um, and it's a really good way of getting out training and starting off. To enter a social ride, they're normally between 12 to 30 pounds, depending on kind of whether you're a member or supporter and kind of the facilities that the venue have had to hire and stuff. There are no maximum and minimum speeds for a social ride um, and there's absolutely no vetting. So when you arrive at the venue, you go straight to the secretary's tent, pick up your number, tack up and out you go straight out on course. You come back, take your tack off, put your horse away and you're guaranteed a rosette. The second type of ride that you can enter as a beginner is a pleasure ride. These are slightly more formal than a social ride and they run in conjunction with graded endurance rides. So when you get to the venue, you go pick up your number, but the, the difference is that you then have to present to the farrier who's gonna check your shoes and you have to do a trot up before and after the event. So you trot up for the vets, you get let out on course, go through the timekeepers and you come back. Once you've crossed the finish line, you've got 30 minutes to get back to that vet to trot up. And if you trot up sound, you get a pass and you get your rosette. There is a minimum age of horse. So horses have to be a minimum of four years old to be able to enter a pleasure ride. And there is a maximum speed of 12 kph. So whereas with social rides, you don't need to think about time. With the pleasure rides, you need to have a stopwatch on to make sure you don't exceed the maximum speed and be eliminated. If you've completed your pleasure ride, you've passed the trot up and you get your rosette, the points from the pleasure ride go towards a pleasure ride national trophy. The third type of endurance ride you can enter as a beginner is a graded endurance ride. So these are slightly more formal. Um, and in a pleasure ride, you also have a vet sheet, but I don't have a pleasure ride vet sheet to show you. Um, but here is a graded ride vet sheet. So you have to fill in this top bit, and it's literally just kind of the details of you and your horse. And then you give this to the farrier and vet to fill out. So the difference between a pleasure and a graded endurance ride is that the vetting is a little bit more formal and the distances get a little bit bigger. So they'll take the pulse. Um, they'll also check for hydration and the action of your horse and they'll do this pre and post ride. The speeds are slightly different compared to a pleasure ride as well. So a graded endurance ride is between 8 to 15 kph. When you get back, you've got 30 minutes, the same as a pleasure ride, to present to the vet. And depending on how low your heart rate is 
and how close to kind of optimum speed you've got depends on what points and what grade you get. The more points you get, um, the higher the grade. So a grade one would be the maximum points. And these points count towards a national trophy. The minimum age for a horse for a graded endurance ride is five years old. As a novice, you can do between 20 to 50 kilometers. And as you progress, these distances go up to kind of about 80 kilometers for graded endurance rides in one day. And then you can progress onto competitive endurance rides. When it comes to kind of starting the ride, you can either go alone and do the whole course by yourself. Joe, some people will pass you, you might see a few people to pass, but actually it is, it is really possible to do the whole course by yourself if you wanted to. But you can also ask to start with a friend, so you can ride the whole loop with someone else. In terms of what to take to your first endurance ride, if you don't have a crew, it's pretty much the same whether you're doing a social, pleasure or graded endurance ride. I hope this video has helped you to choose what kind of endurance ride to enter for your first time and also what are the differences and what are the options out there. If you still have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I will try and answer them all. The endurance community is really active on Facebook and questions are usually answered that day, even within an hour. So have fun, good luck entering your first endurance ride, let me know how you do. If you're unsure about the vetting and the trot up or what to pack, we've got two videos explaining it all here.